All right, this is a addend or a attachment to the Valley Forge videos, um, just to explain a few things. This is a uh, D-modal tune, so it's got um, that whenever it's a tune is a modal, that modal tune, that means it has a seventh chord in it. So if the one chord is D, the seventh chord is a whole step below that, which is G. So you find, or sorry, not G, C. Um, so the one chord is D, seventh chord is C. You find a lot of C chords in this tune. For example, I'll call them out. It starts on a D chord, right to the C chord, back to the D, to the C chord, ends on the D. Same goes for the third part. That's all C chord, back to the D, C. So it's one in the seven chord, and then the middle part, the B part, has um, a four chord in it, the G. So D, G, D, 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 D. Can add some one five one turnarounds. Um, that would be D A D turnarounds at the end of the phrases if you want. Um, that should guide your your fiddle playing too, knowing what the chords are. Um, another nice thing about to do in this tune is to um, kind of jump in uh, before the one on the phrases. So what I mean by that is if you're counting the tune, it's one two three four one. Two, three, four, one, two, bum, bum, ba-dee, bee, 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 So you're actually starting in with the melody before the one, the three or the end of the three. And I'll show you where that happens. So it'd be like one, two, right ahead. <laughs> So it's really the first and the second part that have those, um, you know, where you jump in the beat with the melody. Um, and then there's a lot of fun bowing stuff you can do. Uh, I have a couple of videos on bowing that you can work into it. I definitely use this, uh, what I call the groovy bowing. On the end of phrases, and it's a good way to jump into a, melody, uh, a phrase before the, before the one. But also on the third part, it's fun to kind of mess with the bowing where you go the regular ways, like. Here's some other fun ways to do it. have fun with it. It's a groovy tune, um, especially if you have a rhythm player with you. Um, and uh, good luck. Oh, I'm back again. Sorry, I forgot one more thing I wanted to show you, which is um, you can use the, knowing the chords, you know, the D, the C, and the D and the G and where those are, um, it can allow you to hit double stops rhythmically. Um, for example, I'll show you um, in the first part. If I just played it regular, it would be... But uh, if 
I, I can hit the E string rhythmically during that C chord, it sounds like this. sharp down bow that on where you hit a double stop. Um, I screwed it up a little bit in the beginning but of that last phrase, but you can kind of get the point of you're using your knowledge of double stops to play more rhythmically um, so that even if you don't have a guitar or banjo with you, you can still use a fiddle to get that rhythm.